Stephen Wright has been with us before. Uh, Stephen uh, is a young comedian from Boston who is a different sense of humor. And he's going to be, uh, he'll be appearing on Saturday Night Live, April the 16th, and working at Caroline's in New York the following week. Would you welcome Stephen Wright? Stephen? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> when I was a baby, I kept a diary. <laughs> Recently, I was rereading it. It said, day one, still tired from the move. <laughs> day two, everybody talks to me like I'm an idiot. <laughs> During the day, I'm a parking attendant at Los Angeles Airport. I park jets. <laughs> I think they're gonna let me go, though, because I keep locking the keys in them. Today, I was on an 86-foot stepladder trying to get in the window with a coat hanger. <laughs> Years ago, I worked in a natural organic health food store in Seattle, Washington, and one day a man walked in and he said, if I melt dry ice, can I swim without getting wet? <laughs> I said, I don't know, let me ask Tony. I decided to leave and go to California, so I left and went to California. I hitched. I got picked up by one of those huge trailer trucks carrying 20 brand new cars. I climbed up the side of the cab and I opened the door and the guy said, I don't have much room in here when you get in one of the cars and back. So I did. And he was really into picking up people because he picked up 19 more. <laughs> we all had our own cars. <laughs> then he went 90 miles an hour and we all got speeding tickets. I hate when my foot falls asleep during the day because that means it's going to be up all night. <laughs> Today I went into a place to eat and it said breakfast any time. So I ordered French toast during the Renaissance. I have a microwave fireplace. <laughs> I can lay down in front of the fire for the evening in eight minutes. <laughs> when I moved into my house, there was a switch on the wall that didn't do anything. I would just flick it up and down. It wouldn't control the lights or anything. So when I walked past it, I would just give it a little flick every once in a while. And... And about a month later, I got a letter from a woman in Germany saying, cut it out. <laughs> I filled my humidifier with wax. Now my room's all shiny. <laughs> I like to reminisce with people I don't know. I had the photograph on my license taken out of focus on purpose <laughs> so that when the police stop me, they go, here, you can go. <laughs> the other day, I got on an elevator, and this old guy got on with me, and I was over near the buttons, and I pushed number four, and I said, where are you going? And he said, Phoenix. <laughs> So I pushed Phoenix. <laughs> Doors open, two tumbleweeds blew on. We stepped off, we were in downtown Phoenix. I said, you know, you're the kind of guy I'd really like to hang around with. <laughs> he said, well, I'm going out to the desert. Do you want to go? I said, sure. So we hopped in his car and started driving out to the desert. He told me he spent most of his life working on a research project for the government trying to find out who financed the pyramids. <laughs> He worked on it 30 years, and they paid him an incredible amount of money. He told him he was pretty sure it was a guy named Eddie. <laughs> we got out to his house 500 miles in the middle of the desert. The phone rings. He says, you get it. So I went over, and I picked it up, and a man said, Stephen Wright. I said, yes. He 
said, this is Mr. Haynes, your student loan director from your bank. <laughs> He said, yeah, he said, you're 62 bank payments behind, and we found out today from the institute you attended that they received none of the $17,000 we loaned you. We'd really like to know what you did with it. I said, well, Mr. Haynes, I'm not going to lie to you. I gave the money to my friend Jiggs Casey, and he built a nuclear weapon with it. And I'd really appreciate it if you wouldn't call me anymore. <laughs> Good to see you again. Nice to see you. Things too. going well? Yeah, going real good. Yeah. You haven't moved out here. Are you living here now or? No, I did move. I moved here. Yeah. I moved here. It's a big change from Boston, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it's very different. Yeah. But I moved into a real old building that reminds me of Boston. Huh. Ah. That's why I moved here. I'm feeling kind of hyper. <laughs> Understandable, understandable. So how are you doing? I'm just doing fine. Doing fine. Good to see you. Do people know you uh, at all now when you, I mean, from your, you oh, haven't done a yeah. lot of television, but. Sometimes uh, I get recognized on the street and stuff. I've always had this fantasy when I was younger of getting recognized at an airport. And then after the first time I was on the show, I was at the Los Angeles airport and, and this guy recognized me. And so I got his autograph. <laughs> Good switch, good. We gotta take a break here, we're coming right back.